I'm back again and again and again and again. I'm always going to be back, guys. I'm always going to be here. I'm not going to disappoint. I'm always going to be here. Memories Monday. It's Memories Monday and I thought I should be dramatic because that's the whole story today. Well, it's not the drama. No, I, I, I'm, I don't like drama. It's not my thing. No, I like dramatic clothing. I like to make dramatic clothing. Right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so today I want to tell you, i uh, share a story about how I showcased at the Berlin November in East London, Eastern Cape last year. So obviously it was in November, Berlin November. Anyway, uh, so I had heard about it and I was like, okay, let me try this out um, and see how it would go. So I entered and i got a call this one day from this lady she's like you haven't um sent back your phones and like, phone phones for what um but apparently they had my email wrong excuse me they had my email wrong and um but then everything was sorted i entered and then they were they we had to fill out a form and tell all those um, lies we tell about what motivates you and all of that um, sometimes we lie guys it's like a CV like sometimes you just lie like an interview what motivates you sometimes you're not motivated it just happens but anyway <laughs> I digress so uh, I filled out the form and um, they they have this theme um, the theme was classic monochrome and I had this idea of using the classic monochrome and instead of just using a, a, a certain color um, at first I thought I should use blue and like the different tones of blue and then I thought let me just use black and white in a way that's gonna be quite interesting so um, I had like this massive idea and when i have ideas i go all out guys i go all out and then when it's time to design i want to pull out my hair but that's a story for another day so um uh, got in they sent money for me to buy fabric and produce the whole line i decided to do eight outfits so it was eight outfits two guys and six um ladies and yeah I worked hard, sleepless nights, and then um, the whole thing with the fashion show, I think they had like a set um, way of how they wanted it to go. I get, I get what the idea was, but then at some point they fell short on so many things. And you know, when you have a plan of action, sometimes it doesn't go through the way it's supposed to um yeah i i guess uh yeah it's just one of those things. but all in all there were a lot of ups and downs with the whole thing um i met really great and awesome designers those people were amazing and some of the people who were organizers of um the whole show were amazing people i met really nice people um the day of the show uh did not go smoothly just like anything else you plan um i know this because i've done a fashion show myself and it just went oh. but <laughs> i'll tell you next monday so yeah um but the one nice thing about it they had this for um the guests um at the show so they had like all the designers that were showcasing everything about um, the Berlin November and here's your girl here. Uh, yeah, so it was actually quite an experience. Um, I'm not sure if I would do it again. 
but I will definitely showcase in different places and try new things. That's what I do. I would definitely, definitely um, do that. So anyway, I'm sure you've been dying to see what I came up with for the classic monochrome. is in no way discouraging you from um, showcasing at the Berlin November. It's a great opportunity. You will get um, exposure in in a different place. If you are from East London, it's a very, the, I mean, the crowd in there are actually people who um, matter. Um, and and when I mean people who matter, I mean people who will actually be your customers. Whether they are famous or not or whatever, those people are there to see what designers are making. And it, it opens doors for you, trust me. Uh, with the ups and downs, the fashion industry is like that anyway. You want to pull out your hair sometimes, but that's how it is. That's how um, the cookie crumbles. I mean, you can sit at home and do whatever's clever, but like, I mean, why not uh, get out there? Just get out of your comfort zone and do something nice for yourself and your business. And yeah, I mean, look, be out here. I didn't die. I'm still alive. Ah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching BDIY with Z. I'll see you next time. Mwah.